Hello friends, my name is Dilanjana Sarkar. I work as an English teacher and I'm having an experience of more than 15 years. In this video, I'm going to share with you all the tips to write a story. In my last video, I had discussed the five tips to write a perfect formal letter. Story writing is a very important writing skill and I have seen students struggling to understand what are the ways in order to what are the ways to develop a good story so in this video i'm going to share with you the things that you need to remember if you need to write a good story that will keep your readers engaged the very first thing that you need to do in a story writing is the title because without the title the story doesn't make any sense so first of all remember to give a very eye-catchy and attractive title. The second thing they need to remember is the setting. Now what is the meaning of setting? Setting means the background of the story or the place where the story takes place. If you do not have a setting, the story may sound very abrupt. So make sure when you start the story, give a perfect setting, give a background, describe the setting or describe the time period where the story takes place and then move ahead. Next, what you need to remember is your characterization. Now, characterization is again very important. Characterization are of two kinds, primary and secondary characters. Also, do not overcrowd your story with a lot of characters because that can make the reader a little confused. When you describe your characters, make sure the descriptions are very vivid and colorful. For this, you need to use a lot of adjectives. But again, make, just remember, do not make the description too long. A few well-chosen phrases, a few descriptive words can describe your characters really well. Now, the third thing is the conflict. Without a conflict, a story doesn't stand anywhere. Now, what is the meaning of conflict? Conflict can happen in any three ways. The first conflict that you can write is conflict with another person where something happens in the story there's some major excitement in the story and there's a conflict the second conflict could be with nature maybe there's a huge storm in the story some kind of a cyclone or some kind of flood and something happens due to that so that's the second conflict the third conflict that you can also write is self-conflict where the main character or your protagonist can be a very greedy person, can be a selfish person and how he overcomes that. So in your story, you have to have some kind of a conflict to make it interesting. Otherwise, your story will become very dull and uninteresting. The last thing is solution. After the conflict, there has to be a solution in your story. The reader will be satisfied after reading the solution and that will keep your readers engaged. Finally, one last thing that you can include is a moral or a message. A moral or a message means your message can be something of an educational value where the reader will learn something. A moral message means where people will learn something out of it. So you can use any good moral through your story and may I spread the message in that way. So these are the things, students, that you need to remember. First is title, second is setting, the next is characterization, then conflict, and also finally the solution with the moral. A few other things that you need to remember is you can use a little bit of dialogues in your story that will make the story more interesting. And the last thing that I would say is make sure that your story has a tempo, some kind of a pace a speed otherwise if you are dragging the story too long or if your story is a little dull and uninteresting then readers may not like to read it so make sure that you remember all these points when you weave a beautiful story and you can get really good marks in story writing so students this is what i've shared with you in my video you can refer to my link which is in the description box if you want to get further guidance from me because I also conduct courses and I also conduct online training sessions to help my students in English language. I hope you liked my video. Please subscribe to my channel, those who haven't done it till far. And 
Please do like my video and share it with your friends. Thank you.